Hey, what's going on you guys? Simpsons Man here, and I got an extra special video for you guys today. If you follow me on Instagram, you've noticed that I've posted a bunch of pictures over the past few days of a bunch of Simpsons items that I found on a trip that I went from my hometown all the way to Tampa, Florida. I linked up with the Retro World, and we went to a ton of different places. We went to toy shops, pawn shops, tons of thrift stores, Goodwills, and eventually we landed in Tampa and we went to a huge toy con. So stick around, check out the video of us just finding a bunch of items, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna kinda go through all the different items that I found, show you guys everything, and then a couple other things as well. What's going on you guys? Simpsons Man here and I'm with a special guest today. What's up? I'm Dan. Uh, I do a channel called The Retro World. We go video game hunting, toy hunting, all types of stuff like that. Come check it out. We're in Lakeland, Florida right now at the RP Funding Center and hopefully we can find some Simpsons stuff and some retro stuff. So uh, stay tuned for the video. All right. You can tell how big this place is. We are heading out to the RP Funding Center in Lakeland, Florida right now gonna go check out some video games and yeah let's see what happened
All right, you guys said you wanted me to buy it, so here goes. Let's go talk to him. Remember, you guys do PayPal, first of all. I'm doing no electronic Nothing like that? Yep, I saw him. I've been hit three times. Like, what do you mean hit three times? Fraud. Oh dang! Oh, I have a hit on PayPal. I don't. I don't. I don't I'm not trying to for anything. Oh, okay. It's nothing that's you. It's nothing you know. It's just you know. Unless you've been had a few times, you don't want to do them once. Um, so I have to. I'm gonna have to go to an ATM. Would you do 200 instead of 225? That's like 200 is yours. Because I know the fees are gonna be like 200 is yours. Okay. Put it down just in case some random. I doubt someone's gonna get it, but just in case. Let me I'll tell them it's sold. Okay. Let me go to the uh, okay. ATM nice. right now okay. and um, let me go get some cash out. All right. Thank you. All right. All right, guys, we are going to buy it. They did not take PayPal or anything. The guy said he only did cash. So we went and got some cash out. Um, they want 225 for it, but I talked him down just to 200. He said it'd be fair for 200. Probably never gonna find this ever in my entire life. So I figured for 200, we're gonna buy it. So here it goes. That is going to wrap it up. We've been here for about an hour, hour and a half. 
It's been sick. How was it? How'd we you got, like it? We got a ton of freaking snow. This is the first time I've ever gone to one. Had a lot of fun. So I think we made, I want to say three trips back and forth to the car. Yeah, three Probably trips. just dropping stuff off. But yeah, after cool after an hour and a half later and a trip to the ATM, I think uh, we're going to go grab some lunch and we're going to head home. Yep. So thanks everyone for checking it out. All right, and I'm back. And before we start the video, I did want to say a huge shout out to Dan over at the Retro World for hanging out. We had a blast. We hung out for about two or three days. We went to a ton of different places, and he has a YouTube channel that's awesome. He does all sorts of finds. He does garage sales, thrift stores, Goodwills. He likes to go out and find retro items. So if you love anything retro, if you love video games, anything nostalgic from the 80s, the 90s, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Nintendo, Mario, literally anything from back in the day, especially if it's retro or if it's gaming or anything else, please go over head over to his channel, check him out, drop him a subscribe, like his videos, and he'll also have a similar video of our trip that we just did on his channel as well. Let's get into this weekend's haul and let me show you guys everything I picked up. So I think I'm gonna do this into a two-part video. I think this video that I'm gonna talk about today is only gonna be from everything that I got from the Central Florida Collectors Fest. I was going to do just one big video of the whole entire trip, including the fest, but honestly, I think it's going to be about 20 or 30 minutes plus long, and I don't want to make it super long, so you guys can just kind of watch this one, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything I picked up. I did want to start off with the Santos, Santa's Little Helper. The only reason why I want to start this one off first is because I did not actually take video of this one as this was probably the only one that I didn't actually have a video of, but I'm gonna kinda do a little close up for you guys so you can see it. This is Santa's little helper. You can see he needs a little Band-Aid because it's all torn up on the foot and I think I was able to get this for like $3. It does come from Universal Studios. It actually has the tag from Universal Studios on here and it does not say the date but I know that you can still get these at Universal. Uh, I went to Universal a few years ago and I actually saw this. I think this was like part of one of the basketball games. Um, I didn't win him, but I got him now. And honestly, just like a little bit of a sew job and we can fix up that foot. So this is the very first thing that I picked up. I'm gonna try and talk about all the pickups that I got in order of the video. They might be kind of chopped up a little bit, but this was the first thing I got. Uh, we'll kind of go from, um, I don't know, I would say best to last, but I'm just gonna kinda pick them up. I have them kinda scattered here on the table. Uh, one of the second things I did pick up from the fest was this Dr. Marvin Monroe World of Springfield figure. Still carded, like the box is actually in really good condition. I really wouldn't grade this anything higher than probably a six or seven to be honest, but because you know, there's just little creases and everything on the package, I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, I'm probably not gonna open this up and I'll actually wind up probably reselling him just because I have him in a box and outside of a box. So I already have two of him, so there's not really any reason uh, to have another one. So um, the, some of these items that I actually have, I will have for sale. So if you wanna go to my website, thesimpsonsman.com, you'll see this item and probably a bunch of other items. Um, just as, you know, sometimes I pick them up and I sell them because I don't really need triples of the items. So this one, uh, I think I picked up for, I don't remember to be honest, five or $10. It wasn't really a lot. He actually gave me a deal. So let me go ahead and grab this one while I'm at it. So this one is Homer Simpson from the Faces of Springfield line they did. Actually just opens up. Not a lot of people know about this line. I actually like it a lot. I mean, just because the fact that it's like a very tall figure. Uh, if I want to say maybe about eight to 10 inches, I'm not really sure if it says that on the box, but it, it kind of reminds me of the Super 7 lineup that's going to be coming out next year just because they have, you know, a big figure. So this one's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but it has a gummy Venus de Milo toy in there. It has a sandwich in there. It also has Pinchy on there. 
and I don't think it, yeah, and it has just those three, three figures. I mean, the Homer Simpson, you know, it's pretty tall. There's only about this much of box underneath it, so it's actually pretty tall. And this one comes from, I want to say 2002, 2003, 2002, so I was right about that. So this comes from 2002, still in the box. It, I just left a little post-it note on there just to so you guys can see how much I paid. I paid $10 for this, and he might have said this was $10, but I'm pretty sure he gave me like a package deal, and I think I offered him like maybe like $17 or $18, and he took it, so I was able to get both of these from the same vendor. Um, hopefully, I have a lot of good footage of all these. I'm not sure. I, I took a lot of footage from the thing. Uh, but you guys will be able to see it as I'm doing it. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. I'm gonna put this off to the side and we have some of the Burger King toys still in the packaging. This comes from early 90s. They only had two of them, but I was able to get them both. So we have Homer Simpson and we have Maggie. Yeah, and they're still in like their wrap area and everything else. This is kind of how toys used to be back in the day. I know nowadays you got a little McDonald's toy or Burger King toy, it's a little piece of plastic and whatever, but these are actual plush toys that you got with the Happy Meal. I'm pretty sure you had to pay like an additional like dollar or two dollars to get these, but man, like, and the fact that these are still like in the packaging is pretty nice. I picked these both up. I want to say for ten or fifteen dollars a piece. No, I paid. I paid ten. Um, ten dollars a piece. I remember now because I remember giving him a twenty. He really wouldn't come off this at all, and it's kind of unfortunate because a lot of like people think these are worth like a ton of money all the time, but these are one of the most common items I find anytime I go to any kind of collector fest any kind of toy con, a lot of times even when they're at Goodwill and stuff. Now, since these are in the packaging and it does come with their little paper toys or the bowling ball and the stuffed animal, uh, maybe just worth a little bit more, but I already have both of these, both in the package and outside of the package. So once again, I'll be selling these in my store. I'll probably honestly list them for like 10 or $15 a piece just so I can get rid of them quick. And if you want them, you know, good luck. Go ahead and grab them. All right, so we only got a few more items. Um, on the actual video, you'll see that there's more Simpsons items than what I actually purchased because they were selling like a Bart for like 40 something dollars in the packaging, which I was not gonna buy. And they had a couple loose figures. And I wanna say there was even a Homer in there too. Um, I don't re I remember there was like a Homer and a Bart. I just don't remember if it's the same exact one as that Burger King one, but they wanted like $10. There were some keychains. They wanted like $15 a piece. I tried to offer him three because he said, hey, give me a price. And I was just like, all right, I'll give you a dollar each. And he's like, oh, no, no, no. I wanted like 10 to $15 each. And I'm just like, really? Like, I a lot of people always think that if they have something older that it's worth like a ton of money, but man, those same exact keychains on eBay right now are going for like two and three dollars a piece. So I figured I'd give him a few bucks, but he wanted so much money for it and I was just like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, let's go ahead, I only have a few more items that I actually purchased. So the next one is gonna be this big, huge Simpsons clue game. I'll just kind of pan it over so you can see it on here. You can see the price on there for $15. Um, I actually offered her $10 for this and she took it. I'm not gonna go through everything, but it does come with, you know, we have the Simpsons clue board on here. And it, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna go through everything, but it has all of the cards and it has all of the pieces still intact. I did check that just to make sure because I do uh, wanna play this and I actually will play this probably sometime this week with the family. And then after I do play it, I'll probably put this on my store also. I have this one, but I'm gonna have to pull it out of the attic because I'm not sure if the one I have is like this one's in actually like really great condition. So I'm not sure if this, this one is better than the other one, but I am gonna go check that out and find out to see. And I'll more than likely put this in my store. The only thing that bites about selling stuff like this is it's, it's kind of heavy and it's kind of a weird shape. So to package this and sell it, it's gonna cost probably like $15 if you're in the US just for shipping. And a lot of people don't wanna pay that, but I'll probably wind up selling it for similar to what I bought. I wanna make a few bucks off it obviously. So probably like 15 or $20. So if you're interested in this, you know, like I said, you'll see that in the store too. 
All right, so we only got two more things. We got a small, a uh, couple small items, and we have a huge one. And if you guys saw my Instagram video, you guys are probably here just for the huge one. And of course, I'm gonna do that one last so you guys can, you know, stay tuned for the video and just kind of keep that suspense rolling. But I have a set of Simpsons Legos. So I wanna show you one, like one by one of these. We got Homer, we got Ned, we got Marge, we got Millhouse, and we got Bart. So I'm not exactly sure, unless it says somewhere on here, and it doesn't, how old these are because I like, so I started my YouTube channel like forever ago and I was like, I was super into it and I did like a bunch of like small little videos including opening videos of some of these Simpsons Legos and then I took like a five or six year hiatus because at the time I was just really busy with work and I had like a million other things going on so I was just like, you know, I just recently probably in the past like year or so started actually doing my YouTube channel. So if you look back at like my older videos versus now, you'll see like there's a huge gap in content, probably like two or three years, just because I didn't know if I wanted to do that at the time, but now I'm just like full force. Like, of course, I wish I would have kept doing it, but that's besides the point. But what I was saying was these are, I think, you know, they had different waves. I think they went, they had like two waves of the Simpsons figures and these are probably from the first wave. So I wanna say these are probably at least like seven years old or so. Um, they had three for $5 or wait, hold on. Let me think, let me think here. They had two for $5. Man, I, I, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. They had they had Legos and they had two for five dollars. And I said, hey, do you mind if I had if you know just get all five of them for ten dollars instead? Because you know it would have been two for five, another two which would make ten, and then you know one odd man out. So I kind of just got one for free. But I saw these and I didn't see these the first time around. So I went through the whole entire collector fest, probably an hour, hour and a half's worth of looking. And then on my way out, I was like, you know what? Let me just do like one small lap because you never know. And I saw all five of these. Now they were kind of making them at the time with different pieces for some of their other Legos. So I think that these might not have been on display whenever I went by their booth at first. So, I mean, that's the only thing I could think of, but offered her $10, she gave them all to me and there we go. So I got some more Legos. I have these also. So this is probably gonna wind up turning into a almost sell every single thing I have because half of the items that I found at the fest, I already have, so I don't need them and I don't need triples of these items. So, you know, might as well go ahead and sell them. But who cares about all this? I know you guys came for just the main, main piece and I am going to go ahead and grab it right now. I definitely need two hands for this. And this is the Lard Lab Deluxe Box Set. So. I'm gonna do my best to show you every aspect of this box. I do not have this either in a box or out of a box. And when I saw this, well, I freaked out. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know, and you remember, I'll go ahead and put a picture of the post from Instagram, so let's talk about it. So, this was literally the first thing I saw at the fest. We went, came through the door, and on the right-hand side, there was a ton of comic books, and literally the next booth over, or two booths over, he just had a ton of different toys. I saw some Simpsons, Simpsons items right off the bat, but they were like $100 for like two of the Simpsons items. I think they were the, um, the NECA um, Springfield toys, and I don't remember who they were. It was some, um, I know one of them was Adam West, but that one wasn't the $100 combo. But anyways, we're getting besides the point. I saw this way up top, like just on the top of all the other figures, but I also noticed that this price tag on here, right there, $225. So, I was, uh, yeah, so $225. This is a lot of money just for one toy. And I, I didn't put a budget for this Toy Fest because to be honest, like it's very hard to put a budget when you go to s these certain places. Now, now you can say, oh, my budget's gonna be this for this or maybe for food or anything else. But for the for a Toy Fest, like, yeah, I'm, I'm only gonna spend like $100 or this. But if you come across something that's like 
insane like this, it's very hard to pass it up. So just kind of me being stupid or silly or whatever, like I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a post on Instagram just to see you know, what you guys think about it. Should I buy it? Should I, you know, pass this up? Maybe let someone else buy it or should I just pick it up? And like, it was my most like just commented or engaged post I've had in forever because I posted it and I went, just kind of took a lap and did a few other items, you know, looked at a few other things, refreshed my feed and I already had like 3,000, 4,000 likes and like just like a couple hundred comments within like 20 minutes of people just like going crazy. People are like, I'm gonna unfollow you if you don't get it. You better get it, you bleep, bleep, bleep. Like man, once in a time, like I honestly think, besides like maybe one or two comments that said no, every single comment still to this date, unless you go in and you know add a new one, is all like, get it. Like you're gonna regret it if you don't get it. And I started thinking about it and I was like, man, like, they're right. So I went on eBay because I'm gonna go on eBay, especially if I'm gonna be paying like 200 something dollars or something. And yes, on eBay, depending on the condition, inside out or box, like this one is still factory sealed. This isn't, like I've been around the, just like the toy area and the Simpsons world and stuff to know that if someone's opened this and threw like, you know, third party tape or something on there. But no, this is like the original tape that was on here. Like this is still sealed. The box is in pretty good condition. Of course, there's like a little bit of wear and tear, but this thing is what? From like 2000 and let me see, 2007. So 14 years old, like of course there's gonna be a little bit of wear and tear, but I looked it up on eBay and yeah, they were going anywhere from 200 to 300 or even $400 depending on the quality and everything of the box. Some of them that I saw that were for like two or three hundred dollars or two to 250, I did notice that the box had already been opened just so they could display it out and they put it back in the box. You also can tell when they do different, different sides of the box that some of the boxes had already had different tape on there and not the actual original like manufacturer's tape that came like whenever this was a thing. And it's crazy because I remember back in the day seeing similar items just like this for like 30, $40 even on clearance for like $20. And here we go, you know, 14 years later, seeing it for 225. So, you know, I asked my followers, I asked you guys, and of course everyone, like literally 99.999% of you said, yes, you're an idiot if you don't buy it. So, I, you know, I listened. And I'm glad I listened because I was, in, in my head, I was going back and forth like, man, can I really justify spending like $225 on a Simpsons toy? So, and I have footage of it, you know, I was like, you know what, screw it. You guys are right, I'm gonna go buy it. And I went and bought it. And I said, hey, you know, would you got, would you take $200 PayPal um, instead of 225? I could PayPal you the money right now. I'm not some like random person. That's another thing too I like to tell people. It's like, you know, a lot of times it, I, I'm, a, I'm a reputable person and it's like, I wanna make sure that they know that, like, hey, I have an Instagram, like, I have a, here's my address, here's my ID, like, I'm not just some, like, random person that's gonna rip you off, because a lot of people, you know, especially at these collector fests, they probably get ripped off. And, of course, he did not wanna do PayPal, he did not wanna do credit cards, because he explained to me that he's been ripped off multiple times in the past, and he only did cash. So I was just like, all right, great. I don't have any kind of cash like that with me. I had, like, maybe $40, and I was like, you know what? If you take 200, I will go get some cash. They, you know, this was at this huge RP center. That, I mean, it was like a 200,000 square foot building. They had other events actually going. It was called the RP Funding Center, actually. And of course, they had different booths and everything inside of it. And they had an ATM, had to pay like a three or $4 fee, got my money, did the exchange. And, you know, obviously I'm at my house and here it is. And, I bought it, like, no buyer's remorse either. At first I was like, man, this is a lot, and it is, it's a lot of money, like, I'm not rich or anything, I was able to get these toys, but this was a lot of money, like, spending over $200, like, I just bought the Super 7 items, like, not too long ago, um, that came out to like 250 for five different toys, but for one toy, I don't, I don't think I've ever spent that much on just one item, and well, here we go. I spent $200 for it, it's not coming out of the packaging, I don't know, like I've thought about it a few times and maybe kind of hitting the gun with it and just maybe see if I could take off the tape and opening it up, but 
This might be one of these things that stays sealed for a long time. Um, I did kind of want to go into it just for a second here, just so you can see it. So obviously it does come from Treehouse of Horror 6. It does say that on the box. It has a bunch of, did you know, like teaser or um, eggs on there on the back. One cool thing that I did not know at all about this was from the newest line of Super 7, they have those interchangeable toys or the heads that go on the Simpsons figures. And I've never seen that really on any other toy ever, but of course, this one actually has it. And it says it, where does it say? I know it says it somewhere. Oh, it says it right here on the top. And it says it on the, on the sides and everything too. It says featuring Homer's interact or interchangeable heads. So he has two different heads for it. He's got one that's kind of like a, I don't I mean, they both look like he's just looks really funny, but you know, it's from the episode. He's got the chain around the donut and everything too. Uh, it's got the Simpsons car. Like I just, I really, I really want to open this. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like I really want to open this and have this on display. Um, I'm trying to see everything on there. It looks like it has the base behind it. So it probably has it. Yeah. So it has it set up so you can see it on there, like exactly the way it looks. And maybe, who knows, maybe one day I will open it, but man, like, this was like the creme de la creme of like my Simpsons collection right here. This is probably gonna be one of the uh, the best items. I have a few other ones that are kind of rare, um, and a, you know, a few others like that, but this right here, like, I'm glad I listened to you because if I would've came home, I probably it probably would've been in my head the whole entire time, especially after I made that post, because I had so many people even DM me about it, but between the time that I made the post and between the time that I actually bought it, and people were just like, yo, did you buy it? Because if not, I'm gonna PayPal you money right now, and you're gonna buy it for me and ship it because the fact that you just, you'll never, you'll probably never see this you know, out in the wild ever again. Like, you might see it in some collector's thing. Yeah, you can see it on eBay. Everyone has stuff on eBay, but like being out in the bout at a toy store, or a thrift store or a, just any kind of fest, 99% chance that you're not gonna see this. And that was kind of the whole point, like finding toys out in the wild. Yeah, I could have probably bought every single thing that I bought today on eBay, but what's the fun in that? Like the whole point of it is to go to these fests to support other vendors and to add to your collection. So that's it. Um, I just wanted to show you all the items that I picked up from the Central Florida Collectors Fest. And uh, once again, big shout out to Dan over at Retro World. Uh, we had a blast, we hung out, we went to a bunch of different places. We got a bunch of, I was about to say we got a bunch of different foods, but no we didn't. We just ate junk food the whole entire time, chips and chocolate and just a bunch of crap. But you know what, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Like I said, go check out his channel. I'll have a link below in my description. It's the Retro World on YouTube. He does all sorts of retro hunting. So if you like watching those kind of videos because I know you guys do because you guys like watching the ones that I do for Simpsons but he does the same but he does it in a way bigger and better scale he does all sorts of games not just Simpsons toys consoles anything retro anything nostalgic from the 80s and the 90s he loves to collect and he also loves to go ahead and try to find those out in the wild but once again, thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. And if you did like the video, please like the video. Show some love in the comments below. What was your favorite? I'm assuming everyone's favorite is gonna be this guy right here. But if you had a different, you know, different favorite, you know, obviously comment below. And thesimpsonsman.com, I'm gonna have a few of these items for sale. So if you didn't wanna add to your collection, if you wanted to support me along the way instead of getting them on eBay or anything, then go ahead and hit my store up and pick something up. Until next time, Thank you so much for checking out the video. See you.